Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome Instagram Live. I am so excited to be here again today. This is our fifth live this week and we've done a little bit of a spontaneous series this week as I was guided by my higher self. Hi Mandy, how are you lovely? Good to see you here. Welcome everybody. I was just explaining that this is our fifth live this week. We've been very spontaneous. I don't really do this, but I always had a very strong guidance from my higher self to, to come on and, and to share this with you. So I'm so excited to see who this is for and a massive welcome to everybody, whether you're new in our world or perhaps you've been, been with us for a while. So good to see you, Mandy. How are you, lovely? How has your week been? Let us know in the comments how you are feeling. How is everybody feeling? So we're going to be talking today about exponential expansion. And yesterday I was talking about life after the breakthrough because it truly does begin after the breakthrough because that's where you start to become more of who you truly are. So and you do that by letting go of all the programming. We've all got programming going on. Um, letting go of the past timelines. And you're literally energetically transforming because you create and this is really important you create from the energy behind you so i really want you to kind of feel that and contemplate that and we're always evolving and expanding and of course the universe is expanding infinitely so expansion is happening all the time and awareness of this allows us to really step into the into the certainty of expansion and the feeling of of course it's happening rather than the contraction of wondering whether is this ever going to happen you know when we can kind of all feel like that so the key is creating exponential expansion and embodying embodying it so it just feels completely normal you've created a new set point this is like of course this is happening and then just naturally expanding again and it's a beautiful rhythm and flow and as we desire to call in more this requires us to create the energetic space for it so you can be in the energy of anticipation and plan for it so as you consider your expansion and desire for the next revenue level, this is what we've been talking about this week, I invite you to think about well, what things can you put in place that you're ready for that expansion? What money channels or services have you got in place that don't require more of your time? Same time whether you have, so it's the same time whether you have five clients, clients in the program or 50 clients in the program. Does that make sense? Same amount of time of your time, but actually you're making a much bigger impact when you're serving more people does that make sense and then to think about okay so as you're moving into that expansion expansion who do you need to become what beliefs emotions identity does this version of you hold so that you have that capacity already in place to hold the expansion so that you can stabilize your growth you're certain in the actions that you're taking so that you can allow yourself to expand and stabilize stabilize so we we say goodbye to that the contraction expansion roller coaster let me know in the comments if you like yeah i'm done with the contraction expansion roller coaster and when we have fully embodied the version of ourselves who already has what we desire we, this is where we collapse timelines and i'm sure that you've had these experiences and uh, would love to continue the conversation so let us know what what resonates in in the comments because when we manifest multidimensionally, we are creating beyond time and space and we bend reality. And the key to unlocking expansion is joy. So what brings you the greatest joy in your business? You allow yourself to do the thing that brings you the greatest joy. One of the things that you'll come up against as you're going on your hero's journey of expanding your wealth consciousness and creating these limitless possibilities when you're muscle testing um, and I see this all the time when people are muscle testing on their own, they get errors in their muscle testing and, and the reading of it. And then they lose confidence in what they're doing because they don't really know what they're doing. I want you to think that you've got your L plates. You've got L plates unless you've been trained by me. And then I know that you know what you're doing. Um, so I know that everybody's going to want to go off and muscle test on their own. And you'll want to muscle test on making various decisions. And it's really super exciting to be able to do that. But there's some key things to understand. So if I use the example, as I know many people at the moment are thinking about whether they step in to do the Helix Method certification program or not. So I'm going to use that as an example. There are a number of things that are going to come up. So just going to give you a heads up on this because the subconscious is super sneaky and all knowing and programmed to keep you in the same spot for your revenue growth. The same spot in your relationships 
So you you need to watch out for some of these things that I'm going to give you a heads up on about so that you can get an accurate answer because otherwise the reading you'll receive is just going to be on the resistance that you're holding. Does that make sense? Um, whenever I explain this to my private clients and uh, clients in our programs, like, oh my God, yes. Um, you know, it makes so much sense and it helps them to understand why sometimes they've got um, dual readings going on and, and um, getting confused and wondering whether they can really trust themselves. So this is really, really important um, to, to speak to this. So the art, I want you to, to think of this, the art is knowing in the questions to ask and the cluster of questions to ask. So you're not just asking one question so that you can get a clarity on what is in your highest path and, and purpose. It's just reminding me as I used to be head of performance for social services. And one of the things that we would do, we'd always talk about a basket of indicators of performance indicators, because that would give you the true picture of what you were looking at. Whereas if you just looked at one performance indicator, you're not going to have the full, full understanding. You're only going to look at it through one lens. So it's, a little bit like that you want a cluster of questions that you can ask you can get the full picture and not just ask one question because that's not going to give you the, the full picture so that's a really important thing is your understanding about uh, about muscle testing so you can just to kind of add to this you can ask a question in a certain way and the answer will be no for example so for example you might say is this my best next step and you're going to know and that's because of the resistance to the result that you have in the program for example remember your subconscious is programmed to keep you on that default timeline. So asking the question in that way is not going to give you your highest timeline answer that's going to move you on to the next timeline. Does that make sense? And I do see this a lot, which is why I wanted to talk about it, where people will think that they have no resistance to something. And then I work with them. And because I really understand the subtle art of muscle, muscle testing, I can help them find the block, the resistance, the energetic imprint, the belief, the emotion that's creating this resistance. Because I know what questions to ask and the, and the patterns that come up for people. So this is really important. So you want to uh, find out where the resistance is. And then after you've cleared the resistance, then ask the question if this is the next step for your highest path and purpose. Does that make sense? So I just wanted to speak to this because I know that everyone, everyone on the planet desires to live their most fulfilled life and to grow and expand, you know, expand their consciousness. And I know that many people will just feel the energetic pull, they're like, it's just a no-brainer, I know the Helix Method is for me, some of you may have questions, so please, of course, do DM me, and we can have a chat so that I can just help you make an aligned decision either way. Um, and being able to muscle test can really help give you an, an indication about, you know, what's going on in your energy. So this is how you can muscle test to support you with making an energetically aligned decision. And it is really key to align your levels of consciousness and we do this through the with the Helix Method, as we've been doing this week, by increasing your life force energy with our breath work and the invocation of creating that activation with your your with your higher self and that alignment with your higher self and your conscious mind and your subconscious. And then what's really key is to make sure that you're in a heart space and to clear the resistance before asking if it's in your highest interest as your next step so whatever that might be so if you, if i use the helix method as an example so you would say for example i i have got resistance to to stepping into the helix method certification program you can also muscle test on so remember we want a cluster of things that we're going to muscle test on so we can get the full picture rather than just relying on one question so i invite you to say for example um this will work for me and then if you get a no on that, then you know that on one level, your subconscious is going, it's not going to work for you. And therefore, I'm going to keep you on that path of the same thing. Does that make sense? So sometimes when people, when we're new to modalities, we can believe it's going to work for everybody else, um, you know, or we'll avoid using it um, because we are thinking it doesn't really work. So this, again, the subconscious is doing everything it can to, to keep you on the same path. So this is where you want to muscle test to find that. OK, what, what is going on? The next question you can muscle test on is, um, I have got, not question, statement, I have got resistance to investing money in myself. And again, see if you get a yes or a no. You can also uh, muscle test on, I've got resistance to having the result that I'll create with the Helix Method. I always say to my clients, it's not just the initial next step, it's beyond the next step that can create the resistance. And the subconscious is anticipating that. So if we just stop here, we're, you know, we, we've missed a trick in terms of really uncovering and enabling us to, to, to leap forward. So 
a little top tip there for you. The next one I would muscle test on in our cluster of our basket of, of um, statements that we're going to muscle test on is I've got a fear of failure creating resistance to joining the Helix Method Certification Program. And again, see if you get a yes or a no. And then I want you to ask this question, is can I clear this resistance? Because often we can, and you might get a no, because the subconscious is like, no, I'm going to hang on to it. <laughs> and so it's then being able to go, right, okay, I'm ready to release this, the resistance to letting this resistance go so I can actually move forward and find a decision, whether it's a yes or a no to to whatever you're deciding on, and then to clear that. So you would say something like, you know, I'm ready to release this resistance to, um, and if you have got resistance to releasing the resistance, it becomes a bit of a tongue twister. So I'm ready to releasing the resistance to releasing the resistance to changing my reality with the Helix Method. I release, transmute, and create, delete this across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Does that make sense? So I would write it out how it's gonna make sense for you. Say it out loud once so your body can hear the words vibrating through your through your energy field and then twice internally so you hear the inner voice of it in your head. Does that make sense? And you're staying in the frequency for, for a little bit longer. Then once you've released all the resistance to effectively moving forward onto a new timeline, then ask, is this next step in my highest interest? Is this next step in my highest path and purpose? And you'll get a clear, clear reading then as to, to whether that this is the right path for you or not. Does that make sense? And then I would invite you to align to being confident in your decision making. So you could say something like, I make a line decision for my highest path and purpose. I allow more fulfillment in my life. And I receive this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Again, saying it out loud once so that your cells in your body are hearing the vibration of your voice. And then twice internally so that your brain is hearing the thought the patterns and you're hearing your inner voice saying this this is where we're really consciously using our inner voice and this is going to help you make an aligned decision so i hope that helps i see this a lot with my clients you know where they won't find something because of a blind spot so they might go oh, it's amazing i've got no resistance and i'm like yeah, no, that's not going to be true if you're about to make a, a huge leap and you've not done any work on this let's just kind of check in um, because there might be some blind spots and the subconscious can be really really sneaky and so you know when I'm working with them I'm able to pinpoint that energetic pattern the belief and the imprint that's you know, holding the revenue at bay so I really just wanted to, to speak to that so to wrap up our time together this week let's build on the frequency that we've started to create to energetically expand your capacity for prosperity so let me know in the comments if you are up for that. So I'm going to guide you through this. So we're going to do a higher self-activation and connection. And then I'm just going to just very simply, we're going to just imprint the phrase that we've been built, you know, we've been using this week. So I've just now received a certain amount of money. Um, and then how it feels. Well, of course you, of course you have, because we've normalized it. You feel grateful, happy, peaceful. You're going to really allow yourself to feel those feelings in your body. So you're bringing your heart into coherence. And we're going to do the amount of money that you would bring in for a year because yesterday we were muscle testing on where the resistance is on, on your annual annual revenue income. Does that make sense? Um, and then we will wrap up. Um, we'll do the living in the energy question and then we'll wrap up. All righty, so I'm going to just get you to take a moment to feel your feet on the ground, your seat on your seat, the, feel the energy coming up from Mother Earth coming up through your legs, your thighs, your belly, your hara, your manifesting up. Feel the energy coming up, opening up your heart chakra, coming up through to your crown, opening up your crown. As you feel that pillar of light, your spiritual connection coming down from your soul star chakra, running down through you and around you. And from this space, I'm going to invite you to, at your own pace, to increase your life force energy by breathing in for four, holding for four, and then breathing out for eight. And to do this three times. At your own pace. And you can allow these words to land on your on your energy field or repeat after me, speaking to all levels of my consciousness and creating a clear channel of communication, manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self. So they are 100% connected and in perfect alignment 
and all working towards my highest path and purpose. Open this space as you're breathing in for four and wait to breathe out for four. So what you're doing here with your breath work is bringing you into coherence. I just invite you to feel your heart filling up with more and more love. And to visualise your manifested scene in your mind's eye. So what does this look like when you know that you've received that annual income? I'm going to use the example of 100,000. So do you see the money in your bank account? Perhaps you see the holiday that you're going to go on. So just to bring something, the purpose for the money, to connect it with a visual. And then to affirm... I've just now received 100k, of course I have, because I'm normalising it, so your body just feels normal, this is the new timeline, I feel so grateful, happy, peaceful, I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. It's breathing in for four, breathing out for four, and then I invite you to repeat this silently in your head, so you're hearing the, the inner voice saying this, I'll say it out loud so you can follow along. I've just now received over 100k, of course I have. I feel so grateful, happy, peaceful. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four, feel your heart filling up with more and more love. Again, then just to silently repeat this, you can hear your inner voice saying this. I've just now received over 100k, of course I have, this is completely normal. I feel so grateful, happy, peaceful. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness. And notice how your body is feeling as you're creating these thought clouds, these thought entities. And from this space, I'm going to invite you to live in the energy of the question, which is living, asking a question because we create from our, the questions that we ask. So you're asking the question from a space that this has already happened and a place, space of curiosity and awe. Why am I surrounded by love and abundance? Why do large sums of money come to me so easily? Just allow yourself to sit in the energy of this question. Not kind of trying to consciously answer it, just notice if any ideas come to you in this now moment. And if they don't, don't worry about it because the idea is going to come to you because you've activated this in the field. It might come to you when you're in the shower. It might come to you when you're washing up or driving the car. Someone's name's going to suddenly pop in. You'll be like, oh my goodness, I need to call so-and-so. Um, so this is where it's really listening to the soft voice of your soul so that you can really get that higher self-guidance. And as part of this, I invite you to think, well, what action would the version of you who already has the business, the next business milestone or whatever it is that you desire, be taking today what would they be doing today and then to take that action this is how we move through space time differently and really start to create leaps that perhaps we wouldn't even have thought possible i'm also going to invite you to reach out to five people today so this could be clients old clients so just ask them how they're doing can you help them would they like to go deeper with you would they like first dibs on your product be completely detached just know that as you're taking this action and leading with love. I just think it's so important. We're leading with love, building relationships, seeing how everybody's doing. Can we help them? We might be being the vehicle, being the you know the vehicle for the universe by linking up other people. And you know, we'll start to see it reflected back. Leading with that go-giver energy. Yeah, I just think is so, so important. Hello, hello, thank you for joining us. So I would love to know what your takeaway has been so that you can really anchor it in and, and embody it as we start to, to wrap up our conversation today. Because we've just to wrap up what we've covered on Instagram this week, so I've shared the foundational codes to limitless possibilities. So this is the code of being, code of forgiveness, boundaries, the code of energetic responsibility. I shared the principles of reality creation and an introduction to the framework of one of our proprietary techniques that we teach within the Helix Method, which is our Helix Method Manifesting Ritual, and how to collapse timelines so that you can bend reality by healing the past experiences and the emotions and the beliefs across all dimensions, planes, times and levels of consciousness and to start to have really fast results by mastering energy psychology and multidimensional manifesting so that you're, you're leading with your higher self-consciousness, your soul consciousness, and you're in alignment with the different levels of consciousness. You haven't got this push-pull energy going on. And that 
life truly starts after the breakthroughs. You become more of who you truly are without the programming and the conditioning that are creating these sort of contraction, expansion roller coasters. So you'll find all the previous lives all on my my, my feed with Louisa Havers on Instagram, and we're going to share them on YouTube as well next week. So you're welcome to, to follow along there. And I do want to share, this is so exciting because we are enrolling at the moment and welcoming new clients into the Helix Method Certification Program, where within the next 60 days, you'll be able to coach your clients with energy psychology protocols and techniques that we share so that they can live their best life, whether they are wanting to break through their own money ceiling, amplify their relationships, so life feels amazing all round, whether it's optimizing their health by healing the trauma that's trapped in their body. There's so much that you can do with the Helix Method. And you are fully supported for a full year with us. Our program is IPHM certified. So you have that assurance that we are a certified training provider as well, which is super, super cool. And we've got some really exciting upgrades as well um, that are coming for all our clients in the in the Helix Method. Um, when we go live with our live calls start on the 21st of September. So just to give you a heads up on that. And when you when you join us, you get access to the membership site straight away. We'll give you some direction on what to focus on. We've got a really fun manifesting challenge going on in the, the Facebook group at the moment and people's vibrations just off the chart. So I'm so excited to see what everyone is creating um, and for all the celebrations that are that everyone is having. Anyway, I've got all the details in a unfancy Google Doc. So just reach out and we'll pop it over. It includes the super juicy savings that we have until the end of August. We do only have five spots left um, and when they're gone, they're gone. We, we cap it so that because I work really closely with you and that's really important to me for the integrity of what we are work, you know, what we're offering with, with the Helix method. And because we're working with people's consciousness and energy, I want to make sure that, you know, the, the mentors that we're training are working at that, that the highest level and are leaders in their field. Um, and so I work really closely with you so that I can support you at that high level. If you've got a question, just reach out to me in DMs or email us at clientcare at Um and myself or my team will take care of you and answer your questions. We we sort of flip-flop in our DMs between, so it's either me or, or Amy, um, and whenever Amy's answering, she'll say that it's 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 her and say that it's Amy, head of client care, so you know who you're chatting with. Um, anyway, I hope that this has served you. Please do share this live on your stories as well if it has helped you and you think it would help others. I would be super, super grateful and really appreciate you for that. I am sending you all loads and loads of love and looking forward to carrying on this conversation with you. Have a fabulous time. Oh, thanks, Mandy. Thanks so much. Mandy saying totally re recommend the Helix method. Yeah, this is your invitation to come and join us and um, just reach out and we'll send all the information over to you so that you can have a read through and make a decision whilst you're in your own, in your own energy. And of course, if you've got any questions, then uh, we will be very happy to answer them so that you can make an aligned decision either way. Alrighty, that's a wrap. Sending you lots of love. Take care. Bye bye.